All right, YouTube. George and I are walking to help guide this flatbed down. Got a little Skagit yarder. Pretty cool. There it is. Is that the donkey? Yeah, it sure is. Well, here it is the following day. Um, the best I can tell is it's a, it's a Skagit uh, Mac little tug. And it's pretty rough. A lot of these guards will probably end up just getting cut off. But, um, yeah, it's pretty neat. I'll throw some pictures in here on best I can find on it. It's a... Uh, high lead machine, but here I'll show you the pictures. Not sure if this was an addition or if this is just a different model of the little tug with the haywire drum. But uh, pretty cool. The brake bands are pretty shot. These ones are still on, but not in the best shape. I'm gonna try to rivet them back on. There's another one down there. So we'll see about that. I'll need a pressure wash. Frame's bent there, not a big deal. I'll heat it up with the torch and use the log loader and I'll tip it on its side and push that back. It's supposed, it's supposed to go right there. Got damaged sometime in its travels. The little tug, from what I can tell, it looks like this was, uh, definitely this was an ad addition. Someone stuck a motor on here. But you can see there's some pipe here and stuff this one but um, these sprockets here these small ones went on each end and then the big ones actually went onto the Fordson tractor and would drive it because the Fordson tractors geared so low that would get your line speed up but um looks like someone reversed these when they made it and the reason why there's a chain on both sides is because tractors right are open differential so you need to have both sides to power to make sure it has power all the time. And then uh, it had like a saddle of some sort that the tractor bolted onto and set up back here. It's made for a Jippo, so you'd take your tractor and bolt it on and start logging. So it's pretty neat. Um, like I said, there's definitely some work that needs to be done to it. Imagine one of these was probably the gear shifter and one was the throttle. I'm sure this was the throttle because that was a short linkage. Probably I'm not quite sure, but is your throttle. Great, everything still moves. So put this on there. I figure we could jump on it, see if it'll something will give. I don't know. Hope I don't fall on my face on the camera. Let's see if I can get comfortable here. Moving a little. 
later I'll see if I can rig it loose. I'll pull all the grease circs out, pump fresh grease into everything. Penet I'll just penetrate them all. It needs a pressure wash. And I'm glad it has grease circs on it now though because hopefully it kept some of the water from getting in there. Getting it, you know. But anyways, super exciting. I think it's gonna end up having to go over there. You can see the blade of the skitter right there. It'll probably end up just getting parked right there. So, but uh, it's been been used and abused for sure. Yeah, what's up, George? I'm on. I'm making a video. So, um, I don't think nothing a torch can't fix. Some of these brackets need to stay. Like this one's very important. It actually hooks onto the brake band and keeps it from rubbing and riding on the drum. On the top has a spring right here's the spring this was not the original spring but it would have a spring picking up on that brake band right in the middle just to keep it from dragging so should be fun i don't know what colors they were new but um i'd like to pressure wash it and throw a coat of paint on it and make it not look so trashy and then uh, i have a picture of a skagit bu30 i'll Put in the clip right now. Okay, YouTube, I'm going to throw this quick clip in there because um, I forgot to talk about it. This is the one of my other Model A motors, I can't remember if I made a video on it in earlier or not, but um, it is a rebuilt motor. I have never finished putting it together, but I um, started it and never finished it, but I got everything to do it. Head uh, gasket, studs, intake and exhaust manifolds, whole nine yards. So I just need to put it together or finish putting it together. I got the rods and mains and everything um in there so got i got this model a and then that air compressor and now the donkey and i thought you know that'd be cool to have all three model a powered stuff so that's what this is this uh transmission came out of model a coupe three speed and i don't have the collection stuff in it but i do have it one thing the reason i decided that this motor so when i got this motor and was putting it together i was going to originally put it in this pickup but i decided against it when I saw that it has a diamond right there. Now, that diamond, for some odd reason, everyone calls them a star motor. And they are, from the limited amount of information I found on them, is they were never put in vehicles. They're the same specs, same everything. But the, from what my grandfather tells me, the star Diamond means that they have a thicker webbing and they were used for like powering sawmills, stuff like that. So they were never in a car from the factory, but they are the same, same motor. So that will be the perfect candidate for the uh, donkey. Okay, so that little BU-30 had a little awning on both sides and a wood sled, you know, on both runners. That's my long-term goal for this, is to have a, a functioning little donkey with a sled and fuel tank and you know kind of keep it out of the weather but also be kind of really cool probably won't do a full length sled it'd be probably you know a couple feet on either end that way it still could be loaded onto a regular car trailer drug around to shows for people to enjoy and have it run and you know engage all the frictions and have the drums spinning around and the gears moving but uh yeah all right, YouTube. Well, I think that will be the end of this video for now. Uh, you will see more on this little Skagit. You know, somewhere the tag is, I'll see if I can find that really quick. I don't know where it's at, but it's there. I seen it. I, where did I see it? I was so excited when I seen it. Well, anyways, I'll post the picture. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it or where it was. The guy pointed it out to me. Um, anyways. But yeah, this was a gift. So I did not buy this. 
I'm not in the position to buy anything like this, really, or even, I don't even really have room for anything like this, but, um, you know, the guy you want somewhere for it to go that's a good home, and I can be that good home, I think, so. Anyways, YouTube, I'll throw that clip in there right now, that picture. Okay, so yeah, it said Skagit uh, Steel and Iron Works, and then up above it said Mac. It didn't say little tug on it, but um, from the pictures I've seen, I think that's what it is. So um, maybe a different model, I don't know. But anyways, YouTube, I hope you guys have a great Christmas and uh, stay safe, have fun. I'll talk to you later.